the question here is what is the world aviation body doing i think the world aviation body collectively must come and advise the aviation national aviation of nepal and probably make it a, a joint study as to what is the phenomena what are the difficulties there are a lot of difficulties as far as landing at pokhara landing at other places there are wind speeds the there there are wind shears there are currents at a different times the study has to be done uh, cautionary reports have to be given in time all those things checking on the pilot proficiency has is has to be carried out very seriously checking on the maintenance has to be carried out very seriously in fact there should be a lot of cross checking done mm. there should be i think more this aspect has to be taken more seriously more sops have to be formed not only in kathmandu but other other places also where the similar terrain is there kathmandu is the unforgiving nepal area is a unforgiving area as far as the aviation is concerned hmm. pilots have to be they cannot be you know they, they cannot afford to make mistakes out here but unfortunately as everybody has said and i have observed from my childhood that this is the place nepal has been a home to a lot of crashes so we have to be very, very careful and for humanitarian reasons i think this aviation study is a must but for this in this accident we have to wait for the cvr wait for the black box and then study and let the, uh, the study become public let everybody know what is there a lot of airlines try to hide their Uh, difficulties and that's why they don't mention uh, this does not does not come in the media that is we have to be we have to watch out for that uh, right, patna air crash which took place in 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 the uh, uh, late 90s is one of the uh, um, examples of this right sir uh priyank if i can take another question with you because we are just uh, looking at those visuals that are now coming in uh, reports are very sketchy right now but right off uh, when it comes to near the airport uh, upon take off uh, when uh, you know this incident uh, unfortunate tragedy was reported there is also residential area very close to that airport we can see according to the pictures that have been coming in there are a lot many people there who actually captured when it not the crash however but after the crash happened so that means uh, it uh, barely uh, entered the residential area uh, before the this crash happened uh, see this uh, sibon airport is uh, one of the most prominent location in nepal although it has been developed in the uh, a bit of outskirts in the kathmandu area because uh, the main uh, area where the people uh, stay uh, has been uh, you know this area has been given for the airport allocation uh, but uh, certainly looking at the visuals which are coming out from the nepali media reports is quite clearly showing that uh, there were high rise buildings also uh, the so the pilot had uh, somehow managed to take the flight to uh, a location where they are had uh, small uh, you know uh, temporary structure which mm. has been built and this has crashed right next to a blue color building a, 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 a you know tent kind of structure which is a temporary structure in uh, kathmandu so certainly he had managed to uh, save life of other individuals also this is an undeniable fact mm. because there are high rise buildings there are the mountain uh, plateau uh, kind of uh, you know the landform which can be seen in this uh, particular ground uh, pictures which are coming out but uh, there are the pictures which are also showing amit uh, that uh, the uh, visuals could be seen uh, from the airport itself from the tarmac area there are visuals which are showing that people who were there on the air, air uh, from this uh, airport uh, who were trying to board another flight uh, saw right. this smoke coming out from uh, very nearby which is right behind the tribhon international airport in Kar